What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Lydia. Thanks for tuning in and if you're new here be sure to subscribe. I would love you if you do. Now for today's video I'm going to be testing out and doing a little wash and go with this Weedad Advanced Climate Control Anti-Frizz Nanotechnology um, line. So essentially I have two of their products. I have their gel and then I have kind of like their anti-frizz, anti-humidity spray. But just to give you guys a little bit of like a comparison, right now I'm working on like what this is day four or day five hair and it's not with the Weed Dad product, it's actually with um, these two products right here. It's the um, Eden Body Works Almond and Marshmallow Hydration Serum paired with the Camille Rose Curl Maker. But now, enough with my rambling, let's get into the details of both of these products. I'm gonna list the ingredients and in, like somewhere on the screen, just cause sometimes I have a hard time pronouncing the ingredients, so I figured I'll show them on the screen while I talk about like the description and what the claims are. We'll start off with the gel. So basically it says, new advanced climate control Control heat and humidity gel with stronger hold transforms uneven curl patterns into consistently formed well-defined and frizz free spirals anti-frizz nanotechnology seals the cuticle to lock in moisture and lock out humidity which I personally like because where I live it gets so humid and now that it's getting really hot like if sometimes my hair you know suffers because of it um, and then essentially it says the result is defined shiny controlled curls in any climate which is nice now let's take a look at the description for the spray so it says this spray right here combines two high-performing formulas in one the concentrated oil phase with the mongongo grapeseed and meadow foam seed oils nourishes plumps and perfects curls for consistency and bounce that's nice and then it says the anti-frizz na nanotechnology phase seals hair cuticle um, to lock in moisture and lock out humidity and it also has a dedicated UV filter that helps protect against color fade heat and free radical damage so that's kind of cool and I don't know if you guys can kind of tell uh, right here is where the oil is and right here is kind of where the non oil is you can see how they kind of separate so I'm assuming you kind of have to shake shake it really well and yeah in the directions is shake it really well before you apply it just so both um, ingredients and both phases I guess you could say um, mix well together but yeah that's kind of what these products are claiming to do pretty big claims especially with this whole stronger hold blocking out frizz and humidity I don't know about y'all but the front of my hair and then the back of my hair tends to get really frizzy um, like really really frizzy and I can tell immediately if a product's gonna work depending on how well it tames the frizz in this kind of like outer halo part Part of my hair um, but yeah now that we have a good idea of what these products are like I'm gonna go wash my hair um, I'm actually doing a protein free wash day routine it should be up on my channel already so check that out too um, if you guys want to see a little protein free wash day routine and then I'm gonna get back to y'all and get started with this wash and go alrighty so I'm back and out of the shower so now I'm just ready to get started with this wash and go and just a little FYI in case I didn't mention it already um, within this little heat and humidity line advanced climate control line or whatever they have a gel but apparently this gel is the stronger hold gel so they came out with a new one so apparently both of these products um, are new to the little advanced climate control anti-frizz humidity um, line and they have like a shampoo conditioner and all that other stuff but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead with this gel I'm gonna take out my hair section it off and I'm gonna apply the hydration serum by Eden Body Works and then top it off with this gel oh and before we get started, Started, I'm gonna need you to pause this video real quick and comment down below and let me know if you guys think this is gonna be good or not so don't cheat and fast forward to the end and see what the results are because I don't even know what the results are yet but um, yeah let me know down below in the comments what your predictions are on how well this product is gonna work because Lord knows I have no idea how well this product is gonna work and we're just gonna have to wait and find out um, but yeah so now that I have my water bottle spray and my hair section off I'm just gonna spray it so it's nice and wet and then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of my hydration serum love this stuff so much and just smooth it over my hair like this and now here comes the fun part we're gonna go in with the gel wait hold up I just realized I didn't even tell you what this thing smells like I haven't even smelt it myself after all of that first up and it has the plastic wrap on it that would have been bad if I tried to squeeze it out nothing would have come out but okay what does it smell like it kind of just smells clean it doesn't really have like a perfume scent 
kind of just smells like a clean gel. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like fruity, coconutty, florally. It's just clean, which is not bad. I'd rather it smell clean than like awful, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in with just a dollop of the gel. This gel is very liquidy. It almost feels it feels exactly kind of like a serum, um, which is kind of funny because both um, the hydration serum, that obviously feels like a serum, and this gel feels like a serum. So yeah, I'm just gonna smooth it over my hair. Now since this does say it has a strong hold, I'm only gonna go in with about like a nickel to a quarter sized amount for each section, just cause I don't want my hair to feel like super stiff and dry and crunchy. But I think with the pairing of the hydration serum and this gel, it'll be like the perfect combo of like definition, hydration, and hold. But okay, so far so good. Um, the combination, these two work really well together. There's no weird residue um, or anything like that. My curls are clumping just right. They feel great. Now let's just go on to this side really quick. Quickly. Oh, and just a quick comparison, just so I can show you. This is with product and this is with no product. You can just see the difference in terms of the definition and no definition. So now that we've done these two sections, I'm just gonna continue to do my hair um, section by section with both of these products right here. And I'll check in with you guys if I notice anything weird or funky going on. Okay, so I'm all done and I just finished parting my hair and now I'm curious to see what they recommend in terms of when I should be using this spray. So it says to use shake well and mist all over dry hair and scrunch to redefine the curl pattern and smooth frizz. Okay, so this is what I'm going to spray in my hair tomorrow once it's all dry or even just later on tonight. I'll probably wait till tomorrow and spray it when I wake up in the morning to kind of just refresh and add a little bit more, you know, life and zhuzh and maybe break out some of the crunch that may or may not happen in my hair. Who knows, but yeah, now I'm basically just gonna wait for it to air dry and I'll check in with y'all later. Okay y'all, so it is day two. I just took out my hair from my little ponytail pineapple and this is what my curls are looking like. I would say there might be a little bit of excess product right here, but I can easily wash that out. You guys can kind of see. But other than that, my curls, look really defined they look really good um they have a bit of a gel cast on them but you know that's kind of expected just because it's a stronger hold gel and i'm i'm assuming that once i go in with some of this spray it might break some of the gel cast which that honestly doesn't bother me because technically if this is like an anti-frizz anti-humidity spray i want it to have a little bit more hold than normal so that if i do go out in the humid weather by the way it's like 80 percent humidity outside today so this is the perfect way to test out my hair i'll probably just check in with you guys in a couple hours just to see how well my hair is holding up because I will be outside um, for a little bit today and um, yeah so this is this is what my hair is looking like what y'all think I'm pretty freaking satisfied if you ask me um, but enough with my rambling let's just spray this in my hair really quickly and see what it does it says I remember to shake well spray it like this I would say the little pressure thingy the you know the spritzer isn't the easiest to spray and it doesn't mist out as wide um but it's okay i'm just gonna i just have that means i just have to spray it more times throughout my hair and i don't know if i'm even going in with too much but we will find out i just want to make sure my hair is extra protected from this humidity but yeah, this is what we're working with. Um, I think right now my curls definitely feel a lot softer. I'm definitely breaking out the gel cast with this spray, um, which is nice. But yeah, um, now I'm just going to go on with my day and then I'll check in with you guys like in a couple of hours and show y'all how well my hair held up with this humid weather that I'm having today. Okay, guys, so it is 5.02. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the time right here. But um, yeah, it's been about like maybe six hours or more. 
I was outside. It was like humid and gross. I showered and like redid myself because I honestly felt and looked like trash. Um, and I just got out of the shower and I want to show you guys what my hair is looking like fresh um, out of, you know, six hours of being in, you know, the humidity and all that good stuff. So as you guys can kind of see, it really held up nice and well over here, but over here on the front, which tends to give me a little bit of um, trouble sometimes, and in the back, like right around here, nothing too bad in the back though, um, but I'm mostly thinking in the front. That's where I think it started to lose some of, you know, its hold and definition, but even in the very beginning when I woke up this morning, these parts of my hair were just a little bit frizzier, and now that I realize it, um, I guess I'm just going to jump into my final thoughts on this product. Now that I realize it, I think the product itself is great. It has amazing slip. It feels super hydrating. Um, it's very lightweight and something that you guys probably didn't see is that my hair dried so quickly just because the products are so lightweight but it still turned out fine um normally for me my hair takes like out because i air dry it takes hours to dry and this is the first time it probably dried by air drying in like under four hours maybe under three or four hours so that was really impressive but in terms of the reason why it's not working so great in the front and part of the back I had realized that when I was looking at the ingredients, it has protein in it, the gel specifically. So, me and my protein sensitive low porosity hair, especially the front of my hair right here, it's very protein sensitive. It was like, uh uh lid, I ain't having it, give me some hydration, get rid of this protein. Um, so I think that's mostly the reason why right here on the front it might have gotten frizzy. But if you like notice right here, these parts aren't as like difficult for me um, and they still stayed intact and everything. They don't look frizzy, they don't feel any different um, or like bad at all. It just feels like it did when I woke up this morning. So yeah that's kind of where my head is at with these two products i think they're definitely worth a try if you are super protein sensitive beware just because the product does have protein and like it it's sixth ingredient um so that's something worth noting to you all i think the product smelled great and a little bit does go a long way with the gel just because it has so much slip to it so i really appreciated that so although i kind of harped on the fact that it was super expensive which kind of is um you don't need that much of it so at least it'll last you a while but um and in terms of my opinions on the spray i think I think it's good. I think I would need to keep using this on a more consistent basis to see if it does really, really work. I mean, today I sprayed it in my hair and I felt like it worked, especially in conjunction with the gel. But yeah, those are basically my thoughts and how I feel about this product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, sound off below what you guys think of this product. Are you guys gonna buy it? Are you guys gonna check it out? What do you guys think? Um, I think overall the line seems really good and now it's kind of gotten me excited to maybe try out some of um, the other Wee Dad products and see what the hype is all about. Because clearly, I think I've been missing out because a a lot of people love these products a lot but yeah um those are all my thoughts if you made it all the way to the end of this video you a real one but comment the word french fries down below just because i'm real hungry right now and french fries sound so good plus if you look at the little french fry emoji it's like red and so was the packaging for this wee dad stuff so you see what i did there but yeah comment the words french fries down below but thank you guys so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i would love you if you do I won't hate you if you don't, but I would love you if you do. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.